Something spectacular has begun and we want to share our work with you. The Atlantic Salmon Trust's Missing Salmon Project, the largest European tagging and tracking project launched in the Murray Firth this year. 850 salmon smolts were tagged in a determined effort to understand their migration routes and to identify where and why so many fish were going missing in action and what we can do about it. We set out with a plan. You supported us. And this is what we've achieved so far. The Missing Salmon Project is an ambitious and groundbreaking program. For this project, we're using acoustic telemetry. It's a proven method for tracking fish through the rivers, the estuary and out into the ocean. In a huge collaboration with our partners, Glasgow University, Marine Scotland Science, Fisheries Trusts and Boards and the public, we deployed receivers by boat across the Inner Moray Firth the Dornach Firth and all the way from the east of Spey Bay across to Brora. We've also deployed a further line of receivers spanning 12 nautical miles directly north of Fraserburgh. At the same time, the teams worked tirelessly, travelling thousands of miles up and down the seven river systems with the amazing people on those rivers deploying the receivers in strategic locations. This meticulously planned, complex and labour-intensive work was all executed in time for the spring migration of smokes. What was then involved was a sample of migrating smokes were intercepted across the seven rivers by using smoke traps. We carefully fitted each smolt with a uniquely identifiable acoustic tag that each radiated a ping out into the water. These fish rejoined the migrating population and continued downstream towards the marine feeding grounds. As they navigate their way downstream, the receivers register these unique pings and store the information until the smoke migration has finished. Again, the people and organisations involved were so valuable to this process. Over 15 million pings were registered by our receivers during the course of this project. We are tirelessly and urgently analysing this huge amount of information from the project and what it all means. The initial results suggest higher than expected losses of smolts before they reach the salt water and much lower losses as they move out from the coast. We now know that around half our young salmon are missing in action as they move down the rivers towards the sea. The fish that do make it to the salt water move rapidly and appear to disperse and take a range of routes out into the firth towards the open ocean. Whilst these results are clearly concerning, it's exciting to know that we now have evidence and we're using that to guide future management and actually help with positive changes. So, what's next? What we need to do in year two is to dig deeper to find out why these losses are happening. For example, are they related to river conditions, predation or just a part of life? The Atlantic Salmon Trust has taken a positive leap forward to discovering what is happening to our iconic fish and sharing this information is a work in progress. We celebrate the success of an incredible year for the Missing Salmon Project and the start of the Likely Suspects framework. We shouldn't jump to conclusions as there's still a lot of thorough detailing and checking to do before we can bring you the final findings of this project. What management actions have to be made to help stop this iconic fish from missing out on a future? It's not a secret that our salmon are in crisis. Only by pulling together our expertise, knowledge and resources can we give salmon the best chance in the future. 
In order to expand and achieve all that we hope to achieve, we have formed the Missing Salmon Alliance, as it represents the most sensible and proactive way to understand what is causing this crisis and lobby for change. We look forward to sharing more evidence as it becomes available and also share how this information will be used to answer more questions, to form better management and most importantly, putting wild salmon first.